Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. It's Monday, the same day that you saw the last video go up. And today, we have a big, I mean, it's not that big of a project. In our last video, we finished up this beautiful, beautiful rest stop and, oh, love it. Love it. Chef's kiss. I don't even know what I would do to improve upon this just because of how much I like it. Maybe some detailing with like, I don't know, oil coming out of this race car bed or a second different kind of race car bed. But today I want to focus on the Able Sisters, which I want to locate up here. We obviously need to make this a much larger plot of land, that's for sure. And then also relocate them up here. And I have a couple ideas that I want to do involving looms and a few other things that I think is going to be really, really nice. But something that I realized that I just really glazed over in my last video is my center area here. I formatted it, I think, oh, so beautiful. So last I left off was the little floor decorations down here. On the outside, I put a bunch of gold roses and some in bloom bushes. I only had three fully grown on my island, so I'm currently growing some, some little boys over here. And then I put some Nova stars up here, the blue, the purple, the orange, and the pink. And I put those hybrid flowers next to it. And I thought it looks just, uh, fantastic. I don't know if I could possibly, like anything I do to this area is gonna be so extra and unnecessary because I think it's perfect as it is. And then also the green mums are hiding over there and the blacks are in the corner as well. But it was just kind of a showcase of, here's all the rare flowers in the game, what? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the nook's cranny is beautiful. I don't even know what I would wanna fix or update or anything else to this area. But some really fun news is, I have a 77% chance at hitting my first large spike which might be tomorrow afternoon, in which case I'm gonna host that for some friends, and that's gonna be pretty awesome. I did have some friends over watering last night, and oh golly, oh golly, that's what happens when you have five friends over. Just <laughs> everything, everything made more flowers. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and clean this up here. Yes, 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 it's finally happening. Uh, yes, I would like you to call me my dude. <laughs> wow, thanks my dude. No problem. No problem. Oh, I'm still in the middle of doing my flowers, but ooh, ooh, look at this spicy yellow house with this this rustic purple door. Let's go visit our new villager, which I realized in previous episodes I didn't ah, uh, I didn't format correctly as to who's coming over, but it's Anka. Hey there, kitty cat. Oh, Austin John, you must have rushed right over to see me, darling. I just got here today. I must say, our time at the campsite was so special. I can't thank you enough for inviting me to move here. Alas, this room isn't going to organize itself, but I should have everything unpacked today. Hmm. Thank you, Anka. So let's spend some quality time together soon, me meow. You're fantastic. All of these holes show you every single flower that cloned yesterday. And it's only once you see all these ugly holes that you're like, wow, cloning works really great. And it does, it does. Part of what I wanna to do today is work a little bit more toward the, uh, the end goal of getting that golden ax. Not that I, you know, need a golden ax for my day-to-day -day activities, but it would be really nice to, uh, well, to earn that achievement. And in addition, I need to gather all these fruit because I want to get rid of a lot of the cedar trees on my island and convert them all to fruit bearing trees. So that's a step today. So I have a real crazy idea here. And my crazy idea is if there's a tree like this one right here that all of its surrounding spaces cannot hold anything, meaning that they're all occupied with something, will this tree be able to have items, or a wasp's nest, or produce sticks, or anything. I mean, mostly, mostly the first two. I want to know if, because it doesn't have any open spaces, will that prevent its quote-unquote container from having anything stored in it? Like even this one right here. Oh, that was weird. Well, I have the answer to my question. No. I mean, it might be possible, but it would require 
a full 24 spaces of spawn prevention. Cause like this is fully surrounded by things that stuff can't land on and boom, he just spat out there. So, uh, yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. Also, if I switch to a net, that's going to face me forward. So I need to time this just right. Am I going to be able to get this? Wow. I impressed myself there just now. I did. Okay. Something else also really weird. I just canceled the animation of being surprised about the wasps. I think because my turbo controller initiated the attacking of the axe during the animation of it falling. That's weird. Okay, so after a lot of figuring out what I want to do in item acquisition, I hit up someone on my Discord. Shout out to Azula119 MVP. They had the most beautiful, beautiful, stunning micro environment. The Able Sisters. I mean, like, like what I did previously with the loom. Oh, chef's kiss masterpiece. And then she gave me a bunch of stuff that I was missing. So shout out to her. Thank you, my dude. First things first, we have to terraform this land. Need to bring it up a little bit. Might do a little, little sum sum here, like a little stand or something. That'd be neat. I probably have to get rid of this bridge. Just being real. And I'll probably bring this back one so I could put some flowers along this left hand side or maybe hedges or something else. We also have to get rid of this river, most likely. So let's go ahead, let's bring this up to snuff and start working on our microenvironments. I've raised up a big plot of land and I laid down some flooring. <laughs> it takes so long to do that. You know it does. So my plan is to put the Able Sisters right about here so there's a nice general area to walk through and around and everything else like that. I think I'm going to put some stuff in front of the Able Sisters. I know that here is pretty much where their window is. And I also want to put a little shop stall either right here or right here. And I think right here is the spot. Put down a shop stall and then in front or you know what? Actually, probably right there. And then in front of the stall and in front of the Able Sisters, we would have a few outfits out here. Kind of like showcasing what you're going to find inside more than just that little window out there because it's summertime. It's nice out. People that got the outdoor gardens and the markets and everything else. And then you walk through little boutiques and you would see in the boutiques that they have, you know, some of the clothing outside. <sighs> After a shamefully long amount of time, I made this stall doily pattern uh, based off of Something I saw online, no idea from even where. And if we go ahead and place it down, I think it looks pretty good. Why are we getting like some weird teal showing up at the top there? Well, you know what? I like it for the most part. It's it's all right. It, it'll serve the purpose for being a cute stall next to the Able Sisters that I could put two items on top of, and I'm very happy about that. Great. Next, let's get three outfits, actually, of the custom outfits that I've been making, let's face it the right way. I do have this really awesome sort of Burberry-esque coat. Oh, yeah, I like that. I have this Snorlax outfit, that's pretty solid. And I guess we could also do the Totoro, or just, <laughs> just show off the Mega Charizard. You know me and how much I love Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard doesn't have enough forms, Mega Charizard. It just occurred to me that there may be people who never owned a 3DS and now own a Nintendo Switch and didn't play Let's Go and Sword and Shield is their first Pokemon game in a while and they don't know what Mega Charizard is. So, if you don't know what Mega Charizard is, Google that. Uh, okay, let's grab some more things to decorate this. You know, I really didn't mean to grab a hat that matched so well, but it really does. It really, really does. I'm really, really liking this. So the Able Sisters go here. We have a few outfits up front. Very nice. Back here is where we're going to start working on now. And I have an idea. Obviously, we need to remove that bridge. Like, our, our <laughs> to, <laughs> right now, I'm going to go remove that bridge. And also, we'll move the Able Sisters while we're at it. Okay, I did not account for four. I accounted for three. Even though it's four, we can still totally put something right here and pathway design. Okay, that's what I thought. Perfect. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know all that wood you laid down? No. 
Well, we're going to be able to relay down the wood, which is nice. And then we could also put Snorlax back since he despawned. Well, great. The Able Sisters are going to go there. That bridge is going to get deleted. And then we're going to be able to... Actually, I could do a little bit now. I just know that I definitely need this area for, for the rest of it. So essentially, I'm going to have two looms right behind the Able Sisters. And it should space out well. And I want to put down the same... Uh, I guess you call it a blanket. <laughs> the same pattern on the ground that I had over where the picnic is taking place. And I want to use this for a sort of surface for this workshop area. Because this, this is where, where these two are working, right? It's so weird that because the sides have transparency to them, you can see the wood pattern underneath. The little things that we overlook during our detailing. That's what Animal Crossing is all about. <laughs> how, how that's just clipping over there. Okay, that might drive me insane. Part of the decoration that Azula gave me is something called the cute DIY table. This is a game changer. Prefabricated DIY tables, even cooler than the Ironwood one. Uh, game changer. Well, just like our last project, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. And tomorrow we're going to reconfigure it and lay it out much more better than it currently is now. I think it's about the time I take my break for today. And then we come back tomorrow. So I just came across something very, very cheeky. And I decided, why not? Here's our first floor. Here's my second floor. Here's my third floor. And that's the fourth floor. So with the second player who came to my island, when sitting on a rock, half a space away, grabbing a rock, I'm now in a rock. And if I go to the right, we're now on the fourth floor. It goes without saying that that's definitely, definitely, definitely going to get patched. And if you do decide to do it, do not put anything valuable up there. At all. I put a money tree, which... Golly, do I have enough money trees? And I put a lily of the valley. But if I open up this game a year from now, I'm going to be able to see that money tree and that lily of the valley on the fourth floor. So really, 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 really big caution. Like, don't do this at all. It's like fun that you can go up there, but don't do it. This is going to get patched out. It's just a little, little fun thing to do real quick. I mean... If you want to leave it up there and, you know, the chance that that part of your island is going to be corrupt forever and you're not, not going to be able to lay things down, then go for it. If not, then definitely do not do this. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Well, welcome back to the morning. Another day that there's nothing to do, so... I'm actually not playing my second Switch as much as I thought I would. I am collecting my mushrooms every day. Morning, Butterpup! There's no news to speak of today. The first time I saw her quote-unquote iced tea, I was like, meh. But now, I think it's looking tasty. Bertha sent me something, apparently. Yesterday, I helped out Gulliver, so he sent me something. Did he send me something amazing? Gulliver has, like, unique presents that you can only get from him. A samurai wig. I don't think that's that great. Wow. That is definitely a samurai wig. <laughs> Why am I bald on top? And Bertha sent me a small round mat. Awesome. Red only likes to bring me this always real statue. Third time. Time for someone else to get one. Thanks, Elliot. How do you get red three times? I've got him once. Throwback race car bed. Thank you, Mayu. Stay gold pony boy. What? Vroom vroom, it's time to zoom. So you can match Anka and Lucky. Huh. A new throwback race car bed. Did everyone send me new cars? I love the new Nook's Cranny gas station. Thought you might like to add another co color car to it. It's red. Thanks, CQ. Hope you still need trash and this isn't an awful gift. Thanks, Mama K. Oh, uh, yesterday I was talking to Caleb and he has the cute DIY tables, like the one that we started to put by the Able Sisters, except they come in a variety of colors. Rose is a red, chocolate is brown. Expect nothing and still get let down. <laughs> Since you liked, I thought you'd like some more. Thanks. I found this thing for 69k bells. May come in handy in a later event. Don't kill me, Nick. 
Okay. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. <laughs> That's true. The camera for my setup, thanks foil. So that statue that you sent over is Kamha Meha, as it says here at the bottom. The statue Kohala. Uh, this is called the Great Statue, and there is no fake. This, So this is real. Thank you for sending this over. I mean, if there's no, if, if it's something that Red has carried multiple times, then yeah, totally cool. I only needed the garbage so I could make the garbage bins. Several people sent me race car beds. <laughs> Uh, a racing outfit, which is really dope. A pharaoh's outfit, which I'm not too sure how that looks on me, especially with the samurai wig. That's an interesting look. A video camera, which is the gray version to the red one that we just had. Papa Panda, people keep sending me panda bears. Apparently there's a ring in the game. And it comes in the ring box. But this... Ah, love it. That's a spicy blue table. That's very blue, isn't it? Are there other DIY tables other than the ones that you craft and the cute ones? I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. All right, let's do our morning rounds. My first round of collecting shooting star fragments for the day, 12. Last night I went to a meteor shower on a friend's island. Also, there's a lost item, which is dope. I just talk about DIY workbenches and I get the one for the iron one. Ironwood one, nice. So I'm in the process of figuring out a way to get more than your maximum amount of star pieces a day, which I believe the max that you're supposed to get is locked to 30. But I think with help of other profiles on your same Nintendo Switch, you can up that to 60 or 90 or 120. But uh, yeah, still in the process of figuring that out. Yesterday, we hit 1.5 million subscribers, which I think is insane. So thank you so much for that. Like when I started doing this, four and a half years ago, I had no idea that I'd, you know, amass such a huge subscriber base and it's insane. So again, thank you for that. I know that there's a whole bunch of new people who just came on board with Animal Crossing and whatever game is hot AAA Nintendo title, that's usually what I cover. So. If you plan on playing more Nintendo games, then definitely say stay subscribed. I don't know if I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing forever. Probably not. I might, you know, occasionally boot it up for different events and things, which would be neat. In June, next month, we have the Pokemon DLC Part 1. DLC 2 is coming out later on this year for Pokemon. And uh, it's unlikely that we're getting Breath of the Wild, although they did say, and I quote, they want a new Zelda release every year. But, you know, with COVID-19, plans change. Anyways, it's time to work on this area that I just kind of dumped everything at, and now I can't even walk around. So let's go grab some fences and pick some things up and lay that out better. A little update on here. I expanded this out a little bit, so these, the, the, these ladies have some more stuff to do with. And uh, I'm reaching out to a friend who owned hedgehogs. And I want to learn more about them. And it turns out that they typically don't like plants. So I'm going to do some more research online to see a general consensus of hedgehogs. Also, unfortunately, my turnip prices this morning dictated that I do not have a large spike. The legendary large spike is not happening for me. Instead, I have fluctuating. But a 22% chance at a small spike. Boys, what is it? What do I have? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's... Okay, I, I, put in, I put in my information and uh, apparently that just, that, that, that broke turn of profit. Like none of it makes sense. My morning price compared to today I do have a fantastic selling price of $4.75, so I might host my island for some friends. Which actually is is a great, great talking point here, is how to be a good host. All right, first things first, whenever you have people over your island, if they're gonna be random people and you have a lot of fences or you have a lot of valuable flowers like these gold roses over here, it's probably a good idea that way you fence some things off. And I'm actually going to be fencing off these gold roses. Not that I don't trust people, just it makes life a little bit easier. If they can just come in, there's one direct path. There's no questioning of where to go or anything else. It works out great. 
But let's grab my fountain and let's lay down some fencing so that when people come to this area, they are super safe. Now, I don't like the idea of charging Nook Miles tickets for, uh, for hosting your island for turnips. I just personally not a fan of it. I feel like it's it's like the uber premium currency. It's the diamonds of Minecraft for Animal Crossing, right? On my server, we have very, very strict rules because pff, some people were asking ridiculous things. So now, basically what we do is, if you're gonna host your island, the fee, if you will, is your tipped two stacks of turnips. So the money that you make from that is literally a one-to-one -one ratio of whatever your selling price for the day is, which I think is literally the most fair thing it could be. Plus my community, we're not looking to, you know, really make money off of each other. It's more about just like a sentiment of, oh, thank you for taking time out of your day to, you know, host this for us. In which case for me, I'm not gonna be able to record most of the day because I'm gonna have people over here. So I wanna make sure there's no like corners that people can sneakily make their way into. And now that my island is safe and formatted with fences and the only place that people can go is the Nook's Cranny, I'm going to be reaching out to my people to let them know, hey, this is when you can come and I'm gonna be sharing my dodo code and it's just gonna be me hanging out here. Great. Uh, so I've been hosting for a small group of people on my Discord, uh, mostly the channel members so far, and <laughs> I have a, a motto of tip me two stacks of turnips, and so far that has made me two million bells, which two stacks out of your 40 stacks of turnips is, a, in my opinion, a very humble asking. Oh, I still have a few left. And then I also said if there's any gifts that you wanted to give me instead, you know, because my mailing list is full, then go for that. So it's been... Uh, I think it's insane that if you just host your island for selling turnips, you can make as much as if you were to buy turnips that week. And arguably more. Arguably much, much more. So just a quick little update. I've now been doing this for... Four and a half hours, and I've had a lot of people here, and I think I've made close to five million bells by just hosting, which would be the equivalent of like you buying two inventories full and getting lucky and going to someone who's like 550 ish. So, considering that you know, my game just randomly had a high turn up number. That's fantastic, and I severely encourage everyone that if you have good turnip prices that you tracked on turnip profit to just host your island for a day. It's now just after 10 p.m., and literally the entire day I hosted. The entire day. And from having people over and asking for two stacks of turnips each, we made over 10 million bells. <laughs> I made just as many bells hosting my island than I did in that crazy video that I had 2.2 million bells. And I didn't ask for a lot. I asked for a very humble number. Also, I let this be an opportunity for people to come and give me gifts if they weren't on my friends list, so I have to go through all this. And then also, unfortunately, some people didn't make the 10 o'clock deadline, so they just gave me their turnips. So I have to sell these off <laughs> this week, which is pretty ironic, don't you think? Fantastic social experiment. I want to organize this and see what people actually gave me. So after it was all said and done, there was a lot of things that people gave me. First of all, I got two new colors of gas pump, which is fantastic, and a new color of neon light and a mole cricket model, which everyone knows how much I love those dang mole crickets. I hate them so much. A variety of floors, including cloud flooring, pyramid tile, galaxy flooring, a second cloud flooring, future tech flooring, some what I assume are going to be amazing wallpapers, a rice paddy wall, have no idea what that is, ancient wall, a circuit board wall, pilot shades, I have people from the southern hemisphere gifting me mushrooms, there's a balloon over there, I didn't even have that, I didn't even have a slingshot, someone gave me a cupcake, adorable. I got an astronaut suit, I got this lunar lander, insane, fake art, a new color of couch, this red light, a server, a moon, 
a color of teacup ride that's super noisy, this elaborate kimono that's actually going to work out really well for our Able sisters, this painting that I believe is fake because the man is pointing upward, not grabbing the curtain, uh, something called a mushroom parasol, which it's just this big old thing over here, a mushroom light, and uh, so many DIYs. A golden candlestick. Apparently the gold screen wall that I had is something that you can make with a regular screen wall. Mushroom wands, which that looks unique. Yellow leaf piles, a snowflake wreath. Have you ever seen anything like this? Doesn't look like anything to me. Sci-fi wall might be the coolest thing ever. The DIY for a rocket. Which I think the rocket is one of the things that I need in order to build the, the giant hero, right? The DIY for a moon, a giant teddy bear, gold flooring, a crude spaceship. Oh, I had the crude spaceship. Sci-fi flooring. Like, ugh. Today was an amazing day. Amazing day. And, and you're seeing all these things, but every single person who came here... They made two million bells each. <laughs> That's the craziest part. All the people who came and gave me these things, thank you, and also you're welcome. <laughs> okay, some of these are really fantastic. I, like, look at this moon. I don't even know what to do with this. Insane stuff. Insane. Thank you all so much. I gotta clean all this up. I'm cleaning this up and I'm packing in for the night. Good morning, everyone. I didn't sleep that well. <laughs> uh, yesterday was such a long day. Such a long day. But you know what? Just the amount of people like on my Discord and my Twitter that have been like, thank you so much for hosting. You know, I was able to make two million bells easily. It was so much better than turnip exchange. Like, uh, warms my heart a little bit. Know what I mean? Morning, Butterpup. There's no news to speak of today. Anyone see the show on TV? Nope, did not see it. I was too busy hosting turnips for everyone. First things first, we are going to beeline for the Able Sisters because I don't remember what I did. <laughs> also, I really hate working on... Oh, what's up, Bo? Bo wants to move away. Bo, you're... You, you were one of my favorites. I've done nothing but treat you right. Now, hear me out here. You know the first two... Villagers that you have always have like the really bad furniture and then the following three have the furniture that you created And then the ones after that have their own environments. I Hate those first five. They're just so hideous. It's like oh, it's wooden block furniture everywhere and Bo unfortunately has just just the roughest stuff inside of there. I Want to try some yummy snacks all over the world. Well, you know what? I wish you luck Bo. I'm gonna miss you, Salt Lick. So I read up on the care of owning hedgehogs. Yep, that's that's how much in depth I like to go. And uh, a few things. One, they're insectivores, so they like to eat insects. And someone literally just sent me something that might be perfect for this. Uh, they like soft bedding, such as recycled paper material or towels. I think that's because their underbellies are all, you know, not haired or quilled or anything so I'm gonna make sure that there's gonna be cushions like there's this cushion right here where you know one of them will be working on stuff we have this nice soft thing over here soft cushions over here beautiful I I don't know if you stand next to a loom while it's looming or if it's just can I interact with it Well, it looks like it just kind of does its own thing on its own. Oh no, your feet have to be there. Look at the little foot pedals. Okay, so we need to put a little seat over here and a little seat over here for the loomings. And oh, as you see at the top left, we have a much doper Komodo compared to the one that we currently have. So let's just yoink. Yeah, that is, that's one spicy meat the ball. Yeah, I like that. That's hot. That's hot. Uh, let's go grab these ladies some boxes for some stock and some seats. All right, so for now, I just put a cardboard box here until I have something better to put here. 
Back here, we have another cardboard box and a mole cricket model on top of there because hedgehogs love to eat crickets, and that's the same thing as me having a hot sauce collection in my house. And right here, two little stools for the looms. That way they aren't sitting on the hard floor because they don't like hard floors. They like, they like nice soft things for their bodies. And all in all, I think that we are pretty much done here for our Able Sister shop. Oh, hang on, let's step on this side for a better thumbnail. That's gonna be wrapping up this episode of Animal Crossing. We have a beautiful Able Sisters environment. We have some garbage cans out front, like every good business should have. We have some shirts out front for display, so people know my <clears throat> so people know my designs inside. And we have a nice little work environment for our, for our sister girls. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.